Good morning guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and I woke up today to see that Ethereum had jumped 25% in the night. So I've got this little Bitcoin tracker and all these other cryptocurrency trackers on my phone where you know, I see the price daily, I actually see it hourly. And um, I mean, not only have I seen Bitcoin go from, since I got this little track, it was around like $500, $600 uh, a coin, and now we're seeing it touch $1,200, uh, which is, you know, a substantial doubling up. But there's also this other currency called Ethereum, which when I got the tracker was at $10. And I saw the other day it had jumped to $20. And then last night I checked that it had jumped all the way up to $40. And then I woke up this morning and I saw that it is at $50. So I had to go into the internet and be like, you know, what on earth is going on? And it turns out that Ethereum is now being traded on eToro, which is an asset trading platform. And one of the big pushes for the Bitcoin price was because there was going to be that ETF. Remember, I made a video a while back about that. And... So what it turns out is that these cryptocurrencies that because they're getting listed, because they're getting injected with a whole bunch more liquidity and because they're being exposed to a whole bunch more uh, people, there's way, 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 way too much demand at the moment, which is pushing these prices, you know, through the roof. Now, I remember when I came to buy a whole bunch of cryptocurrencies, um, I even considered following the, the passive management approach. The passive management approach would have been to by 80% Bitcoin, 10% Ethereum, and then like a few minor percentages in a few of the other coins like Dash, Dogcoin, Litecoin, OneCoin, etc, etc. But I decided to go all in on just Litecoin. I had a little bit of Dogcoin, but not, not that much. But I went all in on Litecoin and I bought that at your three dollars and seven seventy cents, and it's basically stayed that. Look, there is a little bit of a rally at the moment, and it has jumped up to four dollars and twenty cents. Um, but the reason I bought Litecoin was because out of all the coins, it had the lowest volatility, and I think that that's so important for a currency that it has like just a stable volatility. Bitcoin and Ethereum as a currency, because the prices are jumping up, you know, up and down, up and down they really make it risky for just people to use the coin. Because think about it, you buy the coin today, and then the next night it's 25% more valuable. Or imagine if you agree to do an order, and payment's only done in like say 10 days time, and it's in a specific coin, and then by the time that that 10 days comes, the coin's doubled in value, you know, the deal has is no longer profitable to you. So I really don't like that about Bitcoin, uh, or Bitcoin specifically, is the massive volatility. Also, I like the fact that Litecoin has got a little bit better fundamentals. Um, but yeah, at the moment, as of now, I think in the short term, I have bought the wrong cryptocurrency. Although in the long term, I am expecting Litecoin to be, to be the champion, to, to give the better returns, um, you know, like in a five-year, look, okay, maybe five years a bit long, maybe in a three-year Three year time period, in the sense that because it's so, well, because it's not that volatile, I expect more and more people to start using it as their, you know, currency for, for online trading. And then I expect it to slowly increase day in, day out, you know, to get to a nice stable return. Whereas with Bitcoin and Ethereum, I mean, they could potentially be on bubbles at the moment and, yeah, bubbles could burst. But look, I'm saying this at Ethereum at $50, I mean, I will not be surprised if by the end of the week it is trading at $100. Although, sure, to do that, I mean, Ethereum, it's a complicated technology, it's more complicated than Bitcoin. Um, it has done something known as a hard fork, which further complicates everything. So that kind of put me off Ethereum, but it turns out that the market likes Ethereum and it's going through the roof. But anyway, that's just my, my little thoughts. I'm, I'm not kicking myself, or maybe I, maybe I am, but yeah, I definitely did buy the wrong cryptocurrency in the short term. Although I must say, I wouldn't recommend anyone buying cryptocurrencies unless you've done thorough research, you know what, how the blockchain works, you know what are the principal drivers, and even then I would say it is a very, very risky asset. Definitely not appropriate for a pension fund or you know an institutional investor. But it is something that you could have fun with as you know as a little side hobby. But anyway, that's all I've got time for. Let me know if you've got any questions below, and uh, I'll see you for my next video. Thanks, guys. Cheers.